Now that spring is in the air and summer is not far off, it's about to get loud and crowded along the cliffs of Del Mar. Not necessarily from the tourists, but the heavy machines and the workers attempting to save the cliffs from falling. Last Monday, we learned at the City Council that Sandag is going to start their bluff stabilization project right away. They're starting on March 21st. Unstable cliffs and landslides have been a safety hazard around here for more than a century. Over that time, the cliffs have been eroding at an average of six inches a year, and the train tracks get closer and closer to the edge. Hoping to save the tracks and buy some time, Sandag is moving ahead with more big projects, including support beams underneath the tracks themselves, drainage from above, and seawalls at the foot of the bluffs. Delmar Council Member Terry Gasterlin likes everything but the seawalls, at least not now. The seawalls down below are going to bury beach and scour beach, and it's not clear that they're going to add much in the way of protection. So this is happening, and it's happening right away and it's happening all of a sudden, seawalls first. The area of beach beneath the train tracks is already lined with more than a thousand feet of seawalls. Starting this month, construction will begin on another thousand feet or so. The concern now, more loss of sand and the more loss of coastal access as required by the Coastal Commission. Can we delay building seawalls? Can we try to make sure that we have bluff access down to the beach, which the Coastal Commission is requiring of Sandag before they start building seawalls. At this point, Del Mar is in the middle of a delicate balancing act, needing to protect the train tracks while hoping to protect the environment and maintain coastal sand. What we do know is that the seawalls that are the hardened bluff in Solana Beach, all along the south end of Solana Beach, the, the beach has just scoured and, and gone away there. That's why that barge out there over my shoulder is replenishing Solana Beach to the tune of 700 cubic yards of sand right now. Regardless of what we do now and how fast it happens, sometimes Mother Nature has its own plans, like the situation up the coast in San Clemente. What we know is that what's going on in San Clemente is also going on here. This bluff is slowly oozing and moving that way. Putting a seawall at the bottom isn't going to stop the bluff movement. It's not going to stop the erosion from above, from the irrigation in the groundwater.